college. <laughs> Can anyone explain to me how I have two degrees? I have two degrees. Oh, and a certificate. A little extra, right? I have a certificate. May not, may not be a master's, but it's something extra along with the two degrees, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to apply for jobs right now. And um, the thing is, is that the only person I have responding to me is a man from a tech company saying, hey, you wanna answer some customer service calls? No, Bart, I don't want to answer your call. You know, I'm looking down at these and I'm looking at them and I'm, I'm kind of wondering, I'm like, hmm, what was this for again? Oh, I don't know. Beats me. There's this wave of don't go to college because it's an expensive waste of time videos from right-wing YouTube. And I don't necessarily disagree. But there's a counter argument that I doubt anyone else has presented to this. Before we get into it, you're welcome to my army of armed soldiers where we talk about the deep truths people tend to miss. To join us, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of a Nigeria Take with Theo. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. We have been lying to young people about their futures, saying you only have one path and it's college. So. I do agree with most of the talking points, $300,000 debt for a worthless piece of paper you will earn peanuts or even nothing from is a mathematical disaster and outright fraud. Although what's wrong here is the premise that people even know or understand what they want in the first place. See, in Nigeria, we have the same problem, but the difference is university certificate doesn't cost an arm and a leg here. It's largely subsidized by our government. When Brett talks about these alternatives like community college or even starting a business. You know what you can do? You can go to a state school. You can go to community college. You can also just not go to college. Save your money. She leaves out two extremely important things. The first is the human proclivity towards status and prestige. And the second is the tendency for those alternatives themselves to become what universities are today. An overcrowded, expensive hub where degrees are sold. See, things like universities and Big Pharma did not happen overnight. They started out normal as a way to educate and set a standard for professionalism, a universal approval of your expertise in a specific field. But thanks to that proclivity for prestige in humans, voila, here we are. So, Brett's recommendations, while they are sensible and noble, doesn't scale. In other words, common sense is not common. And when it becomes common, the sense leaves. People feel somewhat lost when there is no shiny, unattainable thing to go after, and structures like colleges and universities fulfill that need. If you take them out, something else will take its place, and maybe something far worse. So, even if the system appears to be broken, it's not. It's working exactly as humans like it. It's great that you can reason the way you do, but that is just not most people. Plus, I doubt it can ever be. A lot of people can't just start a business or even really think for themselves. There's a reason there are a few people who find massive success. It's because they create what other people consume. So if people did decide to take right-wing YouTube and online money-making YouTube's anti-college advice, two things will happen. One, sure they won't land in debt, but they likely will land in another type of fix because their mind doesn't work the same way those who have advised them does. Two, if it gets popular enough, the recommended alternatives will themselves become exactly like Ivy League colleges due to demand. My name is Dio, and thank you for watching. Guys, like I always say, I may be completely wrong, but if you agree, you disagree, leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next one. Odabo.